this is one of my first videos utilizing encaustic medium. And an encaustic medium is wax. And I have waxed the toilet paper tubes in this particular little booklet. So my name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel. I try to hit you with content that is concise, short, and to the point. And the notification bell, of course, lets you know when I upload additional info. So I kind of was reacting to a challenge here, although I've done another project for that challenge as well. But the goal was to use a toilet paper tube to emboss that something within your project and to utilize an envelope. Well, I didn't use an envelope in this, so it didn't qualify for my challenge, but I did use the toilet paper tube and I did emboss it. So I'm gluing that toilet paper tube together to kind of create a more sturdy substrate because I'm going to wax this and I'm making sure that it is stuck together, glued together, and then I'm going to stick it in my embossing machine. And I have chosen an embossing folder that is just a crackle or a distress look. So I will run each of these toilet paper tubes through the embossing machine and we will have a very compressed um, piece. So now I am just mixing up my gesso and I'm going to go ahead and hit each of these with the gesso. I wasn't really planning on using the wax on these until I, I got started. There is encaustic gesso, which I, full disclosure, did not use on this. So I put the gesso down and then kind of sanded it off any place that is not glued. I'm going back and making sure all of these tubes are glued together. I'm just kind of hitting the edges with a little bit of the sandpaper, plus I took a light sand over the, the gesso to reveal some of that toilet paper tube. So now I'm just going to lay down some burnt umber paint. And I have some drywall cloth that I'm just going to use to texture with. And I put the, the drywall cloth on my gel press to get the color transfer on it. And then I'm just putting that straight on the toilet paper tube. <clears throat> and then I'm coming back and kind of hitting some of the tubes right on the gel press as well. So. My point here, or my goal here, is just to lay down some color. And I thought there was too much there, so I'm adding some gesso over the top to kind of push that into the background a bit. And we'll come back with a little more of that drywall tape. And I'm getting this so they're, they're a pretty decent little background on here. So I want to pull out that vintage photo ink here and go around the outside edge of each piece and just distress it up a bit. I'm kind of going over the top of that embossing as well. And there, I, I am happy with those. I think those I think those look good. There's each one. And we're gonna create a little booklet out of these. I'm just kind of measuring to see what I need to to do to get I'm gonna punch some holes. In it and I'll use one as my template and then I'll punch the holes through the first one for each piece. So I just measured to get the first set in and then I will just use that first one as a template and punch through each and every one of them and now I have three holes punched in each.
and I have put some color on a brown paper bag and I have just torn off little snips of that and I'm going to wax that in. Little cheesecloth. So those are set up to begin the waxing process. But before we do that, I'm going to make some marks on each of these and I've just added some black to my gel press and I'm using acrylic paint and I am using a bottle cap and a key card from a hotel to just create some marks on each of these in black. Again, we started with a burnt ember and now we're just adding some black and we'll do that front and back on each one. I just decided it needed a, a little bit more. And now we're ready to wax. So I heated, I just took a, a heat tool and warmed up that toilet paper roll or toilet paper tube. And then I had been melting the wax on the griddle that you see here. And that in caustic medium was a liquid form on the griddle. And I just stuck my brush in it and I have pulled that wax across that toilet paper tube. Now I'm going to encase that piece of paper bag and we will come back and fuse that into that first layer of wax. So between each layer of wax I am fusing and by fusing I mean I'm bringing that wax to a clear and then letting it cool. So you're fusing one layer to the other. And I didn't like that. This is the beauty of wax. You can just start all over. So I tore that off and I'm waxing again. And there, I think I'm happy with that now. Now let's see if we can add this and have it look decent. So let me just press that into the warm wax. I'm pressing in a little piece of cheesecloth and I will add some wax over the top of that. We'll fuse that in. And now I will come back with another piece of that little paper bag. And I'm just continuing to wax and fuse and add, and I'm going to add in some uh, embroidery thread as well. And my whole thought process when I was going through this, I was just had a lot of drama going on with, with something and I, I thought of the individuals that I was dealing with about the tangled web that they were weaving. You know, when you first set, what what is the saying? What a tangled web we weave when we first set out to deceive something like that. And that was kind of the thought process I was going through here. I think that's why my colors are kind of dark. And I use that embroidery thread to kind of weave that, weave that web. So, so you know what my thought process was when I created this little booklet. 
And I think these little pieces turned out kind of cute. But they're definitely different. And we'll see how it holds up. You know, I, I know that wax needs to be on a firm substrate. And I am putting this as a, you know, just kind of as a little flip through booklet for, for nothing more than just little tiny pieces of, of art, in my opinion. And we will put it together and I'm going to create a leaflet in between them with coffee filters. So I've cut the coffee filters down, punched the holes in the side, and I'm going to go through the coffee filters and, and um, we'll add some value to those as well. But this is kind of how it's going to go together. So let's get the gel press out and put some black paint on that press. And I have pulled some leaves out of my yard. And I am going to utilize those as my stencil. So I'm just going to get them inked up or painted up or wet with the paint on the gel press. And then I will pull them over to the coffee filter and just utilize those to stencil that leaf imprint on the coffee filter. And then just kind of pressing those sleeves in to make sure that I get something plus it gives me a nice little print. In addition to that, I'm going to put a little bit on the paper bag, see what's happening there. And there is my stencil, and I've just put, I'm laying those on top of my coffee filters. And just clean up that excess paint. And we are good to go. Look how look how good that looks. So I believe this is going to look good in between the waxed toilet paper tubes. So we have them all together and I'm just going to bind them with a tie off of some black embroidery thread and we'll just tie that into a little square knot. And I'm just using my needle to get through all of the little little holes. And I'm not making it anything anything difficult here. And there we go. That completes our little encaustic medium toilet paper tubes and coffee filter separators. So I hope you enjoy. We'll take a, a quick look. I thought about wrapping them in the, this was going to be my envelope, and I decided that was a bit cheesy, so we discarded that. And this is a just a quick look through of the book, and here we are in our finished piece. So I hope you enjoyed. I think it turned out pretty good. And once again, my name is Peg, and I do call my channel Two Old Clothes Mixed Media. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe to my channel. I try to upload on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Tuesdays. Challenge on Fridays. Saturdays are a simple project. Sunday is geared towards supplies. And Tuesday is a technique. So hit that subscribe button and come join me. I've also added a couple of playlists that I think you might enjoy. Bye for now.